everyone. Welcome back to Beauty and the Broken. My name is Heather and the purpose of this channel is to seek and create beauty wherever we can find it, sometimes in the middle of a mess. So today I'm going to do um, a couple of resin light bulbs. This one and this one. Um, and I've done a couple of them before. I probably should have picked these up before I put my gloves on. But so I did this one and pick up I have three of the little ones that I've done. There, and what you might notice, other than the glare of the light, is that these are not shiny. This is not a shiny mold. Um, most of the molds that I have used produce a shiny effect, and this, this one produces more of a matte effect. And um, this, actually, this mold is from, and I don't know how to pronounce it, it's either Stamperia or Stamperia, um, and it's part of either the Sir Vagabond or Lady Vagabond line. I can't remember which one, but um, I'll try to find it and uh, link it for you if you like it. You can see there's light bulbs, a couple different forms, um, some picture frames, this cool owl with a clock in the center. Um, so a lot of... Um, a lot of really, really neat ones. I have more of these molds and I made this super cool thing for my daughter for Christmas. If I say so myself, I'm sorry, I'm bragging about that and I really shouldn't, but she thought it was cool. So anyway, um, and I'm going to, it, it, that's a very long involved process. So I will do one of those, but it probably will be over a course of a couple videos. But so let's get started today. I'm going to be using this mold release spray, Cell Sill. So it will help if I can get the lid off. <laughs> you know, I'm going to take my gloves off actually because I'm going to be doing some um, some paintbrush work first anyway. So, and if you hear the cars, I do love to, I prefer to be able to work outside if at all possible. So, so like I said, we're just going to do this one and this one. So I'm going to spray that and like I said we are outside so um, good good ventilation put the lid back on that okay now um, I want to let that dry just a little bit uh, because what I'm going to be doing on this part of each mold I am going to be putting the let's resin metallic powder in silver in fact, well, let's see how let's see how it coats. I may have put I may have put too much in there. I just didn't want to spray it after I painted because then I thought I would lose my powder. So, all right. So I'm gonna get started with this one. There we go. It's still it's still laying pretty well. And I think I will speed this up in post so you don't have to watch. Um, you don't have to watch me laying all of this down. briefly considering doing the lines in the bulb here but my paintbrush is not as fine as I'd like it to be to do that and I'm just noticing that this might be a little light here now I just put too much in but that's okay and remember it's what touches it first that's going to be visible on that side so just a second Let's 
So I tapped out the excess and you can see on the backs of each of these, they look pretty, pretty full. All right. Now you might notice I have these things here. This, because if you look at this, it's not flat. So in order to keep it level, there. All right, now put the lid on my metallic powder and move that out of the way. Okay, now we will put the gloves back on. So what I want to do today is do one of them. I got some new glitters, y'all. So we got to play with the new glitters. Um, so one of them, I'm going to, um, I have two glitters. I have this one, which is more of a chunky glitter and love, love this color. What do they call it? They just call it turquoise blue holograph. And the company is Hemway. Also by Hemway is this gold. And this is a fine glitter. I'm pretty sure just uh, gold. And this one I believe is just a fine glitter. So what I'm going to do, let me put those back behind here for a minute. I pre-mixed with gloves, 100 milliliters of resin. And I'm still using the Europo resin, one-to-one uh, -one by volume. And got a little bit more of that left, so you'll be seeing that for a couple more projects. So what I thought I would do is, um, if you saw the three, the, uh, the one large one that I made, it was already gold. So I'm thinking about putting the turquoise in the big mold and the gold in the little mold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a smaller uh, silicone, smaller silicone thing, and I'm going to decant about um, this alone takes about a half an ounce. This takes a little over two ounces. So I have a, a little over three ounces because I always like to have a little extra just in case. And I have molds on the side waiting to be used. So I'm going to decant, if you can see the markings on there, I'm going to decant about 30 milliliters. So, and I'm looking at the side here so I can see when it gets, and it does not have to be exact. All right, that's good enough. Catch the drips. Okay. Now, I am going to grab, like I said, so I'm gonna do the smaller one in gold and open it up on the spoon side. And I just realized that this is out of frame. So can you see, can't see, ah, see, I. There we go. We'll just move that up slightly. Okay, so that's now in frame, lower right frame. And I'm gonna grab a scoop of, a generous scoop. Yes, this is very fine glitter. We are not gonna pour it over. I, they, I think I'm gonna do two. Cause you know I like me some glitter. All right. So I'm going to stick this off to the side for now and grab one of my stir sticks, pick it up, and we'll see if two is enough. Oh, you know, I just remembered. I usually prefer to do glitter in paper cups because it is so hard to clean. Oh, well. <laughs> these will just be harder to clean <clears throat> or this one you know what I probably will go get a paper cup for the other one especially since that's a chunky glitter <laughs> this is usually a quiet neighborhood y'all <laughs> okay I think I want a little more it's pretty but I think I want a little more
move that. Sorry, it's out of frame, but I don't want to dump it over my mold. So we'll stick with three. Whatever three looks like, we'll stick with that. All right, that's really sparkly. Love my metallics. All right, so I'm gonna put that down for a minute and I'm going to grab, quickly grab a paper cut from over here. Assuming I can find my paper cups. Here we go. Okay, there's paper cup. Let's get the glove back on. And I'll just fix this later before we officially pour. Okay. So like I said, I'm just gonna put this in here because that chunky glitter will be a royal pain to clean out. All right, scoop that off. And I'm left-handed, so I'm going to turn this around. You guys can still see it and get all the resin out of here. splattered on the side of the cup, but that's, that's all right. Easily fixed, easily taken care of. Let's see. Oh, there's still quite a bit in there. One thing. No. There we go. Oops, got to hold on to it when you're scraping it. Don't want it all to spill. Okay, that's pretty good. Set that aside. And now, the chunky glitter. Grab a spoon. And I put three scoops of the gold. So I think we're going to start here with five. No, we're just going to go right for six. Two three, four, five, six. And you know what, these aren't as full. So let's start there. That is, that is a pretty sparkle, but I think we're gonna need more than that because the chunks of glitter are larger we need more of them to make a more solid, a more solid color. So definitely more. Let's do five more. One, two, three, four, five. I love that color. Making sure to scrape the sides, get all of that glitter in, or at least most of it. I don't know, what do y'all think? You think we need more? <laughs> uh, you all know, love my glitter, love my metallics. So yeah, I'm gonna do some more. Let's do five more. And y'all know what's going to happen. Y'all know it's going to sink to the bottom. But that is okay with me because the bottom of the mold is what's 
going to be the top when we demold it. So I'm okay with that glitter sinking to the bottom. All right, that looks good. And I think since this is what I have in my hand currently, we're gonna pour this one first. Now I wanna move this back. Okay. Now, I know that this is going to get over the silver that we just painted, but I'm okay with that too, as it's not gonna show through unless I've missed a spot. So, remove my stick here and just pour directly over it, making sure you're in frame. And once again, this just helps to reduce the bubbles. Bubbles are less likely to be seen with all this glitter, but it's just precautionary. Okay, let's move down here. I do see that it is moving down, so I am gonna have to stop so that we don't overflow. And let's see, let me move one of my, that might be enough. Oh, one of my lights just went out. Is it, can we still see? We can still see. Okay. All right, let's get a little more. I think I need another, let me grab, I, please excuse my arm. I went back when I was editing a couple of the uh, other videos and I'm like, oh, nice shot of my, nice shot of my shoulder, my sweatshirt, my hair. <laughs> I think sometimes I get into the groove and even though I'm talking to you, I forget that uh, you need to see. All right, I'm gonna get down here and see if that is, it's not quite doming. I think we could use a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and then maybe um, check it again. Now I'm gonna pick up the gold Give it another stir. All right, and this is just a little guy. So I'm gonna pour the bulb first. And it's gonna start going into the part. Let's see, catch that drip. All right, the bulb looks perfect. I think we need, no, you know what? That does look really good. All right, so that is done. I'm gonna add just a hair more here. All right, that, oh, oh no, I dropped a little bit in my, <laughs> quickly grab one of my, let's get that out, a little bit left in there. All right, now, grab a baby wipe. Put my glove back on. Okay, so now I've kind of, I'm glad I didn't put any more of that gold in. I'm gonna gently hold this. And this time I'm wiping away from the mold because I don't want the turquoise to get in. Okay. 
and I think I did actually get some in, but, and of course now moving it, now I've got, <laughs> we have gold escaping and we have turquoise escaping. All right, that gold, that turquoise is fine. It's not getting in to the mold. I need to stop moving it. There, let's see if I can use this one more time to get, there we go, to get that turquoise over here. All right, throw that away. All right, those look pretty good. Okay, and as usual, I have some extra. And so I thought I would do a couple other things. So I'm going to, I think I'm just gonna move the camera. That's what I'll do. So excuse the wiggle, but I'm gonna move over here and I'm gonna pour over here, which of course means that's the light that went out. Let's see if I can get this other light. There, that's a little brighter. So I have two molds that I want to use. And I'm going to grab some alcohol. This is one of my Christmas ornaments. And those are paint drops, paint drips, paint drops. And um, I was like, well, let's use them and see what we can do as far as an ornament. This one right here, um, let's see if I can pick, it's harder to pick up with these gloves, but this is, con I'm sorry, this is a mold that is Kintsugi. If you can see the cracks in there, those are intentional. And if you know the story of Kintsugi, it um, just briefly, it talks about beauty that something broken does not necessarily have to be considered ugly. And using gold on those lines, they would, um, they would make something more beautiful, sometimes more, even more beautiful than it was before it got broken. And that's why you see the lines in the word broken on my logo. So I'm gonna start with the Christmas ornament. And I realize that this is turquoise and most of the paint drips in there are also turquoise. You know what? I think I'm going to do the turquoise by itself in the Kintsugi and then I will um, do those lines in gold. Now this will make a pendant so it has that piece at the top. We want to just make sure that there is enough resin on that top. And I need something thinner to do that. So, come back and grab that, um, that tool that I use to try and get the turquoise out. Okay, you know what? There is plenty of resin back there. It just doesn't have glitter in it so it looks a little lighter. All right, put that down. And now I'm gonna pour gold into this ornament on the paint drips. And the paint drips are actually upside down and I did that on purpose because once I demold, they will be at the top. And ooh, this might just be the perfect amount. Let's get all of that in there. Check the top. Oh, I just bumped the boom. I'm so sorry about that. I think this is gonna be perfect, y'all. I 
It's as if I planned it. Ha! Ah! Oh, drip on my glove. Better that than my finger, right? Okay. So, those two are now full. And let me see if they are doming. In fact, they are. But I still have... I still have some glitter, turquoise glitter left. What should I make? Um... Let's do turquoise glitter in the druzy mold. Okay. I have a couple of these that, um, that you saw me make um, at an, in another video. And I took a silver acrylic paint pen and did the the lines on the inside and then I coated the uh, the exterior with the silver and they came out so nice. I'll have to post a photo in the community tab. Let me check that. And that is good too and I still have some left over. What else can we make? Let's do, can you see that? Is that in frame? Yes, it is. Let's do some wings. Okay, move over to the other one while that settles out. little bit more in there. Okay, let me get down and see. And those are looking fantastic. Perfect. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today as we um, made, as I made some light bulbs and some ornaments and uh, just a variety of things today. But I'm looking forward to seeing how the light bulbs come out and how the different glitters look. Um, so we will be back for the beauty reveal. See you in a minute. Hi everyone, welcome back to the beauty reveal. And uh, let's see, take this off. These things are great. I just got a few of these and they keep all the bugs and dust out while you're resin and or paintings are drying. So let's look at some of the extra things that we did. Um, so the chunky glitter, let's just take the earrings out. Okay, put that upside down over here. And there they are. Not fully solid, but kind of chunky. And up, there's a little overflow up there. There, just pick that off. And I can just run the uh, nail file across that to smooth it out later. But there we go. Look at the hologra holographic shimmer on those in addition to the sparkle of the glitter. And then I'll just drill holes in the top and turn those into earrings. Okay, now let's go over, let's just do all the extras with the chunky glitter. Here's the shell. Okay, and I will put that over here. So here's the back side. And look at that with the druzy. That is spectacular. I love the sparkle and the shine in that between the glitter and the druzy. That is the double, double whammy. No, whammy is a bad thing. Double sparkle, double the sparkle. 
There we go. Now I'm anxious to see this one. This is the Kintsugi pendant, also in the chunky glitter. And this one's gonna need a little bit extra. And I did, darn, I did forget my, uh, my gold pen. But a lot of Kintsugi is done with gold. And so I have a gold pen that I plan to use on this. But you can see the hole there for the pendant. I did have some, no, that looks good. There we go. But unfortunately, you can't see the Kintsugi line until I do. Let's follow it with my finger. There's a, a line here. I guess the glitter does prevent that. Let's see if we can see. Maybe if we put it. No, do I have anything white? Let's see if that helps. Well, it helps you to see the sparkle more, but I don't think even if we get close enough, I've got something creating a shadow here today. Um, yeah, you can't see the lines. I will make sure to get my gold pen and then put the, uh, put the lines on it and then post a photo in the community tab for you. So we'll see what that looks like. All right, moving on to the next one. I'll just put that here. The next thing was this experiment where I had the um, the paint drips in the bottom, and I don't know if you can see here, but it came. It they some they popped up, and I tried to poke them back down, and it didn't work. They popped right back up again. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, this is actually still a little bendy. It's all right. It will. All right. So there's the back side. Got a little bit on the edge there. Okay. And there we go. <laughs> you know, you can't, uh... oh, there's some spots where it was stuck down so well that the resin did not get underneath. So those, I will have to go back and do a top coat to cover that. Can, there, there you can see right there. So that will just need a top coat, but you can see in this one, let's see, let's get it. This one, there's, come on, focus. It doesn't want to focus because I'm not in the center. You can see just a little bit on the side here how it's, it's more glitter on the top. So... It was an experiment, and I think it looks cool. <laughs> I don't know. You got to try. You never know unless you try. So, all right, so let's take the two. Let's move this. Let's take our two light bulbs out. Now, remember, we used the mold release spray. So, in theory, they should pop out pretty easily. Let's go with the big one first. Okay. There we go. Oh, look at that. That looks great with the, um, with the silver on the bottom there. We have a little, is that a piece of, no, I think that's a bubble. That's a bubble. But that looks cool. I like that. I like that a lot. So there's the turquoise one. Put that on the side and then we're going to pop out the oh i think yep i think the gold i think i put too much stuff in it <laughs> and that is why both gold pieces are still bendy i think i put too much stuff in it y'all and the mold release does not want to release look at that because it's not totally it's not totally done. There we go. But I do like these molds. They do pop right back. A little bit of silver left in that. Uh, I think that was due to the mold release spray. So maybe next time I do it, I would do it without um, spray in here and then not in here. So let me put that aside. And I still have... <laughs> 
<laughs> Love the silver. Okay. But it still looks cool. There, let me put it in the direct light. It's further away, but let's see if I move this. Does that help or hinder? There we go. All right. Well, we got a couple cool pieces out of this. I just need to trim that up. We got. I think this light bulb is my absolute favorite. And then I really like this color. So, oh, and then we have the Kintsugi pendant. All in all, I think it's quite pretty. Very good. All right. Remember, go out there and find beauty because it's always there if you look hard enough for it. See you next week. Bye.